Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, doctor of natural medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. In this video, I'm gonna train you on the top uses and benefits of the most powerful essential oil in the world, frankincense essential oil. Frankincense has been used for thousands of years for treating many conditions related to the immune system, inflammation, and even cancer. And I'll talk about where all of those benefits come from in this short training video. So let's start off talking about the amazing history of frankincense oil. First off, again, we know it's been referenced for thousands of years. In fact, it's referenced in the Bible when the three magi, also called the wise men, brought the infant Jesus gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And frankincense has been referenced to being as valuable as gold throughout history because of its medicinal benefits. Also, in looking at frankincense, there are many different types of frankincense, and its scientific or Latin name is called Boswellia. So when you are buying frankincense, you want to look for a brand that is more uh, that follows organic standards in their farming, a brand that's therapeutic grade and specific species of frankincense. My favorite species is called Boswellia farina. It's a type of frankincense that's found out of the Middle East, oftentimes areas like Oman, a very, very powerful type of frankincense, and it's called Boswellia farina. Also, there's Boswellia carteri, which is oftentimes found in Samiland of, uh, of Africa. And then also Boswellia sacra or Boswellia serrata. Oftentimes, those are often found in India today. And so again, there are many types of frankincense. You want to find a frankincense that's therapeutic grade, certified organic, and sourced indigenously when buying frankincense. Now, let's talk about some of the incredible benefits and how to use this super oil on a regular basis. The one, number one benefit that you're gonna find in a lot of studies today is frankincense ability to fight cancer. Now, frankincense contains a compound called alpha-pinene, and pinene has actually been shown to have anti-septic uh, properties, and in terms of uh, petri dish studies, has been shown to fight cancer. That doesn't mean that frankincense oil is a cure-all. It does mean, though, that along with other therapies, Frankincense oil could potentially be a natural cancer agent. Now, there actually was a case study done on frankincense oil, been, and it's been shown to be effective at actually fighting skin cancer. So if you, have, if you know somebody with skin cancer, frankincense oil could potentially be, according to research, uh, a, a treatment, again, not an only cure, but again, a treatment to be used along with other things in fighting skin cancer. So again, the anti-cancer properties of frankincense are powerful due to the sequestrins that are found in there, as well as alpha-pinene and the other beneficial compounds found in frankincense. Now, here is the second big benefit of frankincense is it is incredible for your skin. If you struggle with acne, uh, if you struggle with especially scars or stretch marks or any type of mark or redness on your skin, Frankincense has the ability to even out skin tone. It's great for age spots, sunspots, acne, again, and any type of cellulite, varicose veins, any type of skin issue. Frankincense is probably one of my top two essential oils for anti-aging of your skin. Third big benefit of frankincense essential oil is its ability to reduce inflammation. That might be its most powerful benefit. The Boswellia species of frankincense is known for reducing inflammation, especially when it comes to your joints. And so again, if you have joint inflammation, skin inflammation, or any inflammatory skin condition, start using frankincense on a regular basis. Now, the main way I recommend you use frankincense is topically, okay? And so again, if you've got a skin issue developing, hey, about two to four drops of frankincense on an area or mixing frankincense oil with a carrier oil or something thick, kind of like a shea butter, okay? Shea butter, jojoba oil, coconut oil, mixing it in that area, rubbing it directly on the skin is so beneficial. Also, therapeutic grade and certified organic frankincense has been shown to be GRSA, so that means it's safe to take internally in proper dosages. So typically you can do two drops on your thumb, rub it on the roof of your mouth is a great way to actually get it into your body internally or taking it in capsule form to naturally reduce inflammation within your body. So of some more benefits of frankincense and using it on a regular basis, another one of my favorite uses for it is for supporting the immune system. If you wanna protect yourself against 
different types of bacteria or getting a cold and flu. Let's say if you're going to the office or your kids are going to school, taking several drops of frankincense and rubbing it on the lymph nodes of the neck is a great way to naturally support the immune system. Another big way that I love to use frankincense oil is for meditation and prayer and to increase spiritual awareness. In fact, the Eastern Orthodox Church often still uses frankincense, that's where we got the word incense, the smell of frankincense, because of its uh, great smell and its ability to reduce brain inflammation, which in turn allows you to better focus, pray, connect with God, meditate, and have a clear thoughts in thinking. So again, frankincense oil, amazing. I know uh, some yoga instructors who diffuse it during class. I know I myself, oftentimes I wake up in the morning and anoint my head with oil, with frankincense and myrrh, and then spend time being grateful with visualization, with prayer, reading scripture. Uh, all of those things are great and a major benefit of using frankincense oil. And remember this, one of the things that I always say, when in doubt, use frankincense. If you wanna know the best essential oil in general for its general health benefits, Frankincense oil is one of the best because of how it benefits the immune system. It benefits your cells. It benefits your respiratory system. It benefits your liver. It benefits almost every cell and tissue and organ of your body. So again, frankincense oil, very, very powerful. And if you want to learn more about frankincense oil, you can do a Google search online of Dr. Axe Frankincense, and you'll see I've written several cool in-depth articles on all of the benefits and how to use it to take your health to the next level. So again, if you wanna use the king of essential oils, frankincense is your best bet to take your health to the next level. And hey, don't forget, if you wanna learn more about the amazing benefits of essential oil, make sure you subscribe here to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, this has been me, Dr. Axe, talking about the many benefits and uses of frankincense essential oil. I was amazed at the place. I wondered how anything could survive. It was so hot, you know, maybe about 130 degrees Fahrenheit on the ground there, and uh, almost almost no vegetation. You know, it was just such a barren, hard place. It was different in Somalia. It's, uh, it's a really hard part of the world, and the people live a very hard life. So the Sanag region is where the Almadog mountain range is and all the residents come out of this area. And a third of the population lives there and it's their only source of employment and access to any sort of resources. They have no other industry that they can depend on other than the frankincense industry. We had to disrupt what existed there. We had to change things. Dave Sterling and Emily Wright went to northern Somalia and Basaso first before anyone, before doTERRA really had any strong initiatives happening in that region and what they saw gave them the idea that we can really make a big change in this region and they gave us the direction to you know you need to go there and you need to fix some stuff and, and make it better because because there's a huge need. We had to give them that seed of hope and it's been amazing to see the change that has happened in just a few years. أنا أقول نفس تيدو حلاه عبد الله سعيد عود عرالي إن كنا أنا دلوا محمد عبد الله بالي هذا وأنا لو ودي إذا ما تبادر وادي وأنا قط صاع من كون صاع حرنا يو بورتي كني مي من كحل الإيرمان ثم كرمير كسوم رين بانوت مادي مركا إلى سد هو بيسوم أنا فعتني وصورت مي وإلى هاي بيرتون ليس كده بدحلي قون رومك قون كتير عليه مركا إن شغله يدوم لازم يواجه شغله بيد عكفي عن هذا هذا ريب كبو ما هنو لكن مر أنو إيب مر كيف كل الله له السينا الشير الشركة الله خلا يو إيب ستوك ما لقيش يقو العكو رت ما دو حكاية بستو وحسن ما لقيه والعكو سيري مثله لكن واحد هلا يسا عد كيف ستو مر كذا يستي ديار كوتا What you have are individual harvesters who who live in villages and will go collect from a region that they have access to by tribal right. And will then sell to shopkeepers in their village, who then sell down to middlemen, who, who eventually get all that resin to a port and sell it to the Europeans and the Arabs and to us and such. This was all happening without any real organization. 
and unfortunately it left the harvesters at a, a real disadvantage because they had no idea the value of their product, they, had no, they have no protection, they have no real bargaining power. The harvesters were really getting pennies for their, their resin. At the time it was 0 0.8 cents per kilo but there was huge vast amounts of resin moving out and the harvester it, it was being cheated by the middlemen and all this resin was going to the UAE, to Yemen, to all these other places. We moved them out of the way, bypassed them and went directly to the people, formed the cooperatives. No one has ever done that before, to have these landowners and chiefs together, working together and in a cooperative. It's never happened in their history, in fact. One of the benefits of being on the ground and getting to know the area and how the industry works, you can immediately find ways to improve it. We thought that there would be a great benefit to having some more organization. And so we have built warehouses throughout the mountains and large collection sites that function as kind of a co-op and are organizing harvesters, villagers, shopkeepers and, and other traders throughout the industry into kind of one network that is working together and collectively. We're now employing you know, thousands of women who are cleaning the residents, making sure they have safe conditions and are also getting paid well. And this organization has done a lot of things, not only to improve the supply chain, but to provide much more uh, security and employment and fairness for more of the actors in the business. This has required a tremendous amount of building trust and relationships with the many clans that are involved, all the way to coordinating and collaborating with the government in sustainability initiatives that they are working on to ensure that the trees can be around for a very long time. Gentlemen, I want to see that tree real close, as close as possible, okay? Right there? Uh, hush, hush. Yeah. That's a car, Terry, that's, yeah. that's dying. If a tree is over harvested, what we mean by that is that there's too many cuts on the tree and that the way that the cuts are made are too deep. If there's too many cuts, if they're too deep, if they're too close to the roots, um, all of these things can lead to mortality and death for that tree. Doterra reached out to me based on my work and wanted to know how to collaborate and how to help. That's what we need more of. We need more companies to, to follow this lead um, and to, to participate in coming up with solutions and strategies that support a robust frankincense economy and long-term sustainability and support for the communities who deliver this raw material to the world. We feel very responsible to uh, make sure that we can maintain the sustainability and do it in a way that is gonna be long-term beneficial for the people and the trees. It's been amazing to see the change that has happened in just a few years. To look at the women who didn't think that then anything was going to change in their life and to now be able to come in and pay them a fair wage that they can depend on year after year after year, to pay their husbands a fair wage, to go out and harvest these trees that have been passed down from father to son, from generation to generation, and to educate their children, to give them a chance to truly be able to change their circumstance. And we are all the beneficiaries to continue to use this amazing, beautiful oil. Through schooling through supply of medicine and food and fairer wages and better work environments. I think the work that has been done there has been, has been critical and will be long lasting. Frankincense has long been recognized for its value, especially as an essential oil. Its powerful aroma is distinctly known and is prized for its many health benefits. Distilled from the Boswellia tree, it has been used for thousands of years. While the resin from the tree possesses many different properties, 
It is most highly regarded for the oil it contains. Often referred to as the king of oil, it's highly revered for everything from digestion to beauty. It's truly one of nature's most valued gifts. Rich in alpha pinene, frankincense is soothing and extremely beneficial for skin health. More significantly than any one single compound, however, frankincense is rich in monoterpenes, which have a wide array of benefits, making this oil effective for a variety of uses. I believe this is one of the primary reasons frankincense offers appropriate cell protection and support. Its broad spectrum activity can support cells and system function throughout the entire body. Frankincense is for everyone. Our bodies are in a constant state of challenge and resolve physiologically. Everyday circumstances can be unique as well as repetitive and our body experiences changing health needs almost daily. Because frankincense is multifunctional, it is an oil that is foundational and one you most likely need on a daily basis. One of the keys to successful usage of any essential oil is consistency. Oftentimes, smaller amounts routinely is much more effective. Taking advantage of the value of this oil can be as easy as diffusing or breathing in the aroma. It is potent yet mild and can be used internally and topically. I recommend that you use the method you are most comfortable with. Most use frankincense for its positive effects on emotional and cognitive function. It even helps to support appropriate neurochemical responses in the endocrine system as a whole. One of my favorite reasons for using frankincense, however, is its protective support to cells and helping the body to manage healthy inflammatory responses. It makes sense why frankincense is so diverse and beneficial to nearly everyone, okay, everyone. <laughs> it's even effective for soothing agitated muscles and tissues. I believe there are limitless ways that doTERRA's certified pure therapeutic grade frankincense can enrich your health and wellness. Here are just a few simple ways to start using one of my favorite oils today. Diffuse frankincense to create feelings of peace, satisfaction, and an overall sense of mental wellness. Aromatic use of frankincense can promote healthy lung function. Take a few drops internally to promote the health of your liver, digestive, and urogenital functions. Take internally to support the whole of your musculoskeletal system which includes your joints, muscles, ligaments, structural tissues, including bones. Frankincense will provide the extra protection you need to withstand the day-to-day -day stresses of life and the normal aging process. A few drops twice a day can support healthy cell function. In a capsule or directly under the tongue is a great option. For younger children, I love using frankincense on the bottom of the feet. I believe this oil can benefit the entire family. In addition, applying the oil to the bottom of the feet can stimulate relaxation and balance the mood. Use frankincense as a part of your daily beauty routine and it can help to reduce the appearance of blemishes and rejuvenate the skin. Frankincense, when used in this way, provides direct support to the underlying tissues of the skin, making the skin more radiant and resilient to detrimental health effects. There are literally dozens of species of Boswellia trees, but there are generally are only four which produce true frankincense resin, which the oil comes from. doTERRA uses three of these species, Carterii, Freriana, and Sacra, to distill a unique certified pure therapeutic grade frankincense, which is exclusive in its benefits, quality, and purity. Frankincense truly is the king of oils, so when you are in doubt as to which oil to use, make doTERRA frankincense your first choice and most trusted choice. Many people don't realize that frankincense was the first worldwide export, and it all began in Oman thousands of years ago. There is such a rich history. Boswellia sacra is the frankincense species that is sourced from Oman. Frankincense was more precious than gold, had a higher value than even gold. The frankincense trade route, it began there in Oman, went up through Yemen and then up along the Arabian Peninsula, all the way up to Petra, where then the reports that took it out to the rest of the world. I want to introduce you to Ashad. He's our frankincense partner from Oman. 
we've just come across a frankincense tree that has recently uh, been scored. If you look at the, the distance between the first in seal and the second, it's about two and a half feet. This is the correct way of harvesting. So you want about two and a half feet That's in between, right, yeah. between each, each and incision. Yeah. It starts off like a milky liquid and then dries out into crystals and then they drop. After about two weeks, it will be collected by the harvesters. After the second week, they'll come back again and make another incision in the same spot. And they make the first incision, you do not have a lot of resin which comes out. Second incision, it increases. Third, you get much more resin out. This was made last year and it is healing. Right. So they have not touched this area at all. Once this, this once the season finishes, this, this particular uh, area will be left to rest. Because of our partnership with Ashad and Saeed, in 2020, we will propagate 20,000 new Boswellia soccer trees in Oman. There's already 500 in the ground. They're thriving. Many of them are several years old. It's like a baby growing. Yeah. And this thing is going to be, uh, this is going to grow into a big tree. That is going to support many, many different projects in the future. And this is the heritage. This is the heritage of a country, of Oman. What's in this bottle? I say love. You see, in Somaliland, living is hard and opportunities are scarce, especially for our daughters. But doTERRA saw our devotion to frankincense trees, trees that we've harvested for generations. We formed a partnership and since then everything has changed. My husband no longer fears corrupt middlemen or poor harvests because doTERRA guarantees a fair market price as well as prepayments. I no longer dread being harassed while sorting the frankincense resin because doTERRA ensures a safe working environment. But most beautiful of all, my little girl is no longer forced to work next to me because doTERRA has built schoolhouses to empower all of our children. This journey of love doesn't end here. Once I've sorted the purest resin, it's shipped to doTERRA's distillery in Bulgaria, which responsibly employs dozens of local artisans. Unlike other companies, doTERRA uses organic methods of harvesting and distillation to gently preserve the frankincense therapeutic properties. Then the oil makes its way to doTERRA's state-of-the-art lab, where scientists apply the most advanced tests to ensure the oil's purity and potency. doTERRA has even partnered with over 100 research, university and medical facilities to find the best applications of essential oils. Ultimately, doTERRA does all this because it cares about your family as much as it cares about mine. What's in this bottle? I say, love.